Good afternoon or morning, brothers and sisters. I'm going to try to keep this under seven minutes or less. Um, I told you that the Lord sends me many visions and dreams, which I, of course, expect you to test the spirits and ask the Lord Jesus Christ if what I tell you is true. Um, this morning I had a very disturbing dream. When I say it's very disturbing, I was literally looking at Bible prophecy in this dream. I saw the worst famine in history hit us. The worst hit mankind, especially the United States. Um, I saw bones of dead animals, uh, bones and carcasses of not only animals, but human beings too. It looked like the spirit of cannibalism was loose because people in this dream, they were so hungry they were cannibalizing each other. That is talked about in the word of God um, about severe famine. There was a very bad drought, so the earth wasn't bringing forth crops. So the Lord withheld the rain and made the land infertile. In other words, unable to produce crops because the water was withheld. Um, there was no grass, no wheat, just burnt wheat. Burnt wheat means, like the tares talked about in the Bible, meaning wickedness. Um, there was pestilence. Every disease unknown to man was at its most severest in this dream. I saw clips of uh, war, different parts of the world, the news about war. I saw um, countless dead bodies. Um, I saw, well, I smelled in a dream, it felt so real. I smelled dead flesh. Um, I smelled blood. Rotted food, rotted carcasses, rotted food meaning that whatever food they had left was rotten. Evil fruits talked about in the word of God, meaning um, works of the wicked. I saw um, people crying, suffering, babies crying and suffering, screaming, calling for help, calling for Jesus, but it was too late. These are the wicked calling for Jesus. Um... I also saw in one clip of the, another clip of the dream where a man was making a strange offering, a sacrifice. He used a chicken. He was making like an offering to a, a strange altar. And it was an ungodly offer. It was not godly at all. It was a demonic offer. And that means that people worshiping false gods. Um, I saw homosexuals dead, uh, lesbians, murderers, idolaters. Whoremongers, fear mongers. I saw countless dead bodies. Now, this reminds me of the four horsemen. Again, the four horsemen are supposed to ride during the tribulation. What ushers in the tribulation is the Daniel 9 27 prophecy, where Israel is supposed to make a, a treaty with many nations. And I know treaty is not, the word treaty is not in the Bible, but it's some kind of an agreement or covenant that Israel makes with many nations. That's supposed to usher in a tribulation. And these events, the severest drought, hunger, uh, disease, pestilence, death, and war is supposed to happen during the tribulation. Now, when I saw more, more dead bodies, then I saw a cloud coming in. It looked like a cloud. First I thought it was a ship, but then, because I don't believe in no aliens, okay? Aliens are demons, straight up. But it looked like a cloud coming in, and the cloud started to fill the sky. And if you look at Joel chapter 2, you look at Zechariah. Zephaniah, I believe, 12 or chapter 6. If you look at Isaiah 53, if you look at uh, Zechariah 12, I believe. If you look at Amos, the book of Amos, the uh, book of Acts talks about it. Luke, Matthew, talks about a day that there's going to be these events that will come to pass. It'll be like suffering, like unlike, and unlike man has ever seen. And um, it also talks about how it'll be a day of gloominess like these things will happen and then by the time you know it Jesus will come no man knows the day or hour when Jesus is coming but in my opinion I believe we're gonna see these events happen before the arrival of Jesus in other words you're gonna see the biggest famine the biggest in other words what I believe is gonna happen the Daniel 9 27 prophecy will be fulfilled then you're gonna see um, the Bible talks about how there's going to be a seven-year treaty, and then in the midst of that treaty, the Antichrist is supposed to break the covenant. So there's going to be some type of a first three and a half years of peace, and then the last three and a half years of peace during that seven-year period, 
There's supposed to be the severest famine, drought, uh, war, pestilence, and there's going to be death. And then you're going to see those events. And then I believe at some point in that period, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come. So the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come, I believe is my opinion. I'm not stating it as fact. I'm going to make that very clear. I believe he's coming sometime during the tribulation. In my opinion, I believe it's going to be either towards the last part of the tribulation or towards the end. So um, that's my opinion. I believe we're going to see a lot of these events come to pass before the, the arrival of Jesus. That's why it's important you stay right with Jesus and you also uh, prepare yourself in case um, you have to die for him. Okay, these events are prophesied in the Bible by the prophets of old. Okay, even by Jesus Christ himself. In fact, Jesus Christ prophesied all this. He just used human vessels, righteous ones, to warn the world of things to come. So I'm telling you guys, um, this isn't good. This is not good. It's a very disturbing dream I had last night. I didn't sit, I didn't say it going to bed anticipating even having a dream like this. So take this to Jesus Christ in prayer and ask him if what I tell you is true. Stay in your prayers, prayer closet. Stay close to Jesus in these last days. Remember, test the spirits. Avoid false prophet demons. Please don't put your crown at risk by running off to listen to somebody's bubbly message that sounds bubbly. Don't let them cause you to fall off the path. Test the spirits. Seek the Lord's counsel first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You take care of yourself. And again, this ain't looking too good. It's not looking good at all. We in serious trouble. But anything is possible with Jesus Christ. Have a good day.